Duke Energy is putting the spotlight on smart energy management for both the company and its customers. Using smart grid technologies, we are working with our customers to find new ways to use less energy, save money, and help the environment. Let's look at one way we are working with our customers to manage energy better and smarter. Through our McAlpine Smart Energy pilot in Charlotte, North Carolina, Duke Energy is creating a virtual power plant using distributed energy resources, such as solar panels, batteries, and residential energy management systems. As you see here, we have installed a photovoltaic solar system at one of our local substations, along with a battery for storing energy. Duke Energy has also upgraded this neighborhood with smart grid technologies for residential use. Notice that we have installed intelligence sensors along power lines, communication nodes on utility poles, and smart meters at customers' homes. We have also provided these customers with home energy management systems, which provide them with timely energy usage information and allow them to tailor their energy use to fit their lifestyles. These technologies work together to provide two-way communication between the company and the customer. To better understand how distributed energy resources work together to save energy, let's take a step back to the beginning. Here you see how energy from a power plant is typically distributed to customers. The electricity moves across transmission lines to the local substation and is delivered to homes and businesses through power lines. By combining the solar panels and battery, Duke Energy can generate and store energy whenever the sun is shining. In fact, energy generated from the sun can go to the battery for storage, or it can be sent directly to the grid as an alternative power source. Together, the panels, battery, and residential energy management systems create a virtual power plant which helps Duke Energy better manage the demand for energy on its system. It reduces our need to buy extra, more expensive power. And it helps us avoid building and operating additional power plants just to meet peak energy demands. Now, let's see how Duke Energy's smart energy pilot works during one of those peak periods. Let's say this neighborhood is experiencing extremely high afternoon temperatures. Energy demand is at its peak, causing a power constraint on Duke Energy's system. Through smart grid technologies, Duke Energy can send a signal to the battery and add stored energy to the grid to help lessen the constraint. If energy demand remains high, we can notify our customers and give them the opportunity to use energy more efficiently. Customers can choose to use the Home Energy Management website to set their energy usage preferences and remotely adjust their appliances based on their preferred energy reductions. As customer demand is reduced, the smart grid communicates back to Duke Energy operators so they know exactly how much energy is being curtailed. When energy demand has been reduced and the power constraint eliminated, Duke Energy notifies its customers and they can return to their original energy preferences. We then signal the battery to stop sending power to the grid and the system returns to its normal operating state. We've seen how solar panels and a battery can be used along with residential energy management systems to efficiently manage electricity usage, saving our customers money without sacrificing their comfort or convenience. By embracing these new technologies, Duke Energy is empowering its customers to make smart energy decisions. Together, we can better manage our energy resources and create a cleaner, lower carbon, and more energy efficient world.